So I had a goal this year to build my own CNC machine. I did a lot of research before settling on the print and C CNC mill. That's a fully open source Fusion 360 design. It includes printed uh, parts and steel tubing. Uh, it uses ball screws and linear rails bolted directly to the steel. It also uses a 2.2 kilowatt spindle, which has enough power to mill aluminum and some steel. What's really cool about the print and see is that it's fully parametric, allowing you to use what material you have available. In this case, I'm using a three inch by two inch by a 0.12 inch steel tubing that I was able to find locally. Um, I'm able to determine my work area. So right now it's gonna be a 970 by 610, which is I think roughly uh, 36 inches by 24 inches. So most two by three foot stock will work in it. It gives me plenty of room to work in. Um, the Z axis, as far as I know, is about four inches. Um, so it's gonna be a pretty hefty machine. So I didn't have a good place to put my steel tubing for this project. So I had to put it in the bathroom. I had it um, cut at a local metal supplier and the prices actually were pretty reasonable. I printed out a guide to check the radius of the steel that I got. And it was somewhere between a six and seven. Um, so I printed out a quarter inch diameter radius and it seemed to be as close as I could get. And then I printed out a uh, center finding, finder tool seems to fit very well. So I determined that this is a quarter inch radius steel tubing. So this just arrived from China. It's had a long journey. Look at all these components you can get as a full kit. Complete with ball screws, linear guides, um, cable chain, spindle, spindle cooling, VFD, power supply, four stepper motor drivers, end stops, parallel port breakout board. It's, it's amazing. There's a 2.2 kilowatt spindle. That thing is huge. Since lumber is really expensive right now, I started building a basic workbench for the print NC, um, but this is subject to change.